Vanessa Maricel. I'm here at VMET Gym with my instructor, Andre Anderson, black belt under Hey Yoga, I'm a brown belt under Andre. Um, we're here for Jiu Jitsu Mania to show you how to take any opportunity you can to get the back. That is my favorite position. I don't have a list of 100 ways I get there, I just know I get there. So it's my favorite thing to do whether I'm in the gi, the no gi, or in an MMA fight. So here we go. We're going to start in the turtle position. <clears throat> There's probably a million techniques to get the back from here. Um, reaching underneath, grabbing the lapels and opening them up. Uh, I like to make sure my foot's here and I just pull them back. If that doesn't work and I can't get my arms underneath, I'll just do um, like a gable grip underneath his shoulder. Usually they don't expect to come They're thinking you're gonna try to go around or do something else. I just like to grab whatever I can, yank him open, throw my arm underneath right away, even before my hooks go in. It's arm, then hooks, wrap it up, bring it behind, squeeze it up. Even if this hook doesn't get in and he's here, he's still going to stick. Squeeze it up. One of my favorite ways to get the back, definitely from Nogi. So we're going to do that again. If I can't reach underneath, I'm going to be here. I'm obviously going to keep my pressure. I like to keep on this foot. If I can't get the lapels from here. I got one arm in, gable grip, put my foot up against his knee, and just stand up, yank him back, throw that, throw that arm under first. Look, my hook's already gonna be there. Throw that hook in too. Bring it around, he's already falling this way, which is awesome. Grab my shoulder, throw my arm behind me, he's already choking, we're choking a little bit more. <laughs> just to make sure I got it. <laughs> only, that's the only time I'm ever gonna get his back, so yeah, sure. if I got it on camera, that's perfect. Another example of how to be opportunistic. Um, let's say you're going around to pass, and you go to knee on the belly. He starts to turn around. I immediately, I already see it. I'm throwing my arm in before anything. A lot of instructors say, you know, your hooks, your hooks, your hooks. I find that I get the back easier as soon as my arm's around because that keeps, it's like I'm latched on like a monkey. I've got my first grip first. Then I think about throwing my hooks in. I like to flatten it out, throw it up. There we go. Let's try that again. I'm going past open guard. I get around. I go to knee on the belly. He doesn't want that. He starts to turn away. My arms first. Look at that. I'm just rolling. Left hook, right hook, flatten out. I'm already choking him right now before I even throw my hand on his head. Just the weight of his body falling forward against my arm. He's already choking. So that's another great way of finding the back opportunity and never make a choke. My name is Vanessa Mariscal. This is for Jiu Jitsu Mania. Andre Anderson, we're at Gym. Thank you.